So when you have a one-legged crawl, right, and that, that, that crawl is off, I can tell you right now you were off at tummy time, you were off at rolling over, you were off, probably didn't happen with grab the feet, if they grabbed one foot, that's it. Now you didn't come to sitting through your back. So, so you're still seeing progressions, but you didn't mean it's, it's, it's not taking off. And so at this stage right now, um, trying to get your child to go into to the crawl, into the stand and all of that, are start becoming difficult. It starts limiting their vision, whether they have vision issues or not, this is where functional vision comes into play. So we're not bearing weight on two knees. I suggest a crawling course. Why that is? Because right now, I can tell you right now, tummy time was more of a butt up, um, especially on the side, probably fought it a little bit. Um, rolling over only happened probably to one side um, and, and again fell fell back and stuff instead of had a, a roll over um, didn't grab the foot from one one just grabbed one foot there's no way that both feet were grabbed with the pump and I can tell you right now there's no way that your child can lie on flat in their back and come up to sitting if they at all can which again I seriously doubt they only can do it to the one side what they can do is they roll to their belly and curl up that way into sitting. That is not coming into sitting. That is sitting, going into sitting. That's not coming into sitting. So, so that's where, so there's a lot of movement in the pelvis that really needs to be worked on. Um, I almost want to say go back to the rolling over course, but I don't think because he's still on the move, he's going to allow it. So I would say you're great going into the crawling course and, and working on that. Because again, you want to do that because now shifting weight going into the pelvis to go to stand versus a pull up and those kind of things. But again, when you have the one legged crawl, this is why Aaron asked about vision because two, he can't get into a nice STNR pubic bone strike, look straight ahead. So upper quadrant vision is difficult. So again, this is where you get the head tilt and they go off to the side and then the leg goes off to the side. So it can be a vision issue, but I don't have a great video of the vision. So that's what's going on, and that's why you get a little bit of a funky crawl. Please, please, please do not let people just say kids are different. I clearly am trying to show you guys that the progression didn't happen the way it needed to, and now the movements are just getting limited. We don't want to continue life with limited movements. We want movement to happen throughout the body however they can. And that's what you're after.